Hi everyone, welcome to Hilltop View Journals. Today is going to be a very quick process video on how I've made this flip-flop cover. I've made it for the collaboration with Mandy at Sunflower and Doors and Julie from Julie's Paper Crafts and it's all about going out with summer with a bang. And in my previous video I did show you um, how I put together these signatures so there are my two signatures so it's a two signature journal and this is the cover that we're going to make today it's very scrappy it's using a lot of um, off cuts and scraps and things and yep yeah, I'm really pleased with it and I hope that you will enjoy watching along um, please do um, like and comment on this video if you do enjoy it and hopefully I shall see you at the end with a few photographs and a roundup of the process. Thank you. Would lie to you Doesn't matter what I do She's got a hold on me She knows how to drive a truck But she lets me pick her up When we're going dancing my heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her She's my country girl I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me She's so damn out of my league She's a little bit crazy on the weekends Dancing in her red dress And I love the way she looks in my eyes And I'm feeling like so wild just with that sweet smiling there's nobody else for me my heart starts racing every time i'm looking at her she's my country girl i couldn't tell you what she's doing to me she's so damn out of my league she's a little bit crazy Doesn't matter what I do, she's got a hold on me.
So this is my finished journal cover for as far as I want to go for this video because there will be a third video in this series which is the actual collaboration video with um, the lovely Mandy from Sunflower and Doors and Julie from Julie's Paper Crafts um, and in that video I will be looking at covering the front of this uh, journal as part of my prompt which is daydream um, and in the previous video that's up on my channel you would have seen that I made this signature so I will eventually be binding that in there and I've still got this journal signature as well which I haven't put a cover on um, but because of the style of the journal i will have to be mindful about a bit of bulk going on here so the only thing that's left to do is the closure and i have to admit when you do these um when you do these types of flip-flop journals you're kind of limited because you haven't got two ends that you can put a um a set of eyelets in it's quite awkward to get the eyelets in and you're actually because you're opening on both sides you you kind of need two closures so all i'm going to do at the moment is i'm going to use this lovely piece of sari ribbon and i am just going to tie it like this so it's going to be tied at the back and it will all make sense in my next video which i hope you will join me for so I'm just going to leave that like that for now. I don't know how big this journal is going to get. Um, and the the other thing to consider, of course, is that I, I make this journal to use. So what suits me may not suit you. This suits me because I will only be using this cover to protect the completed signatures that will have my daily journaling in for the next few weeks and literally once that's done I bind the signatures in I'll put them in the cover and then that will just go on my shelf with the rest of my completed journals and therefore this type of closure suits it because all I need to do is just keep it shut and that's it guys i hope you've enjoyed uh this tutorial um i know most of it was silent with music in the background but really all i'm doing is showing you the process of what i go through it's a very simple process i love making these types of journals because you're just using scraps and um it's a great way of using up your stash and making something that looks really really attractive in my opinion Please join me for my next video. It'll be up on the 21st of August. And until then, thank you so much for watching. Please like and leave a comment if you can to support the channel and help it grow. And also, if you're not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. And I shall just roll now a couple of photographs um, of the completed journal for your viewing before you turn on to the next tutorial. Thanks ever so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.